Tattoos don't hurt as bad as people want you to think that they hurt. Everybody want to get tattoos, but not everybody want to feel it. What's up guys, it's AD the Chosen One back here with another video. If you're new, subscribe. If you're an original subscriber, welcome back to another lit video, alright y'all? Today I'm going to be explaining my tattoos and telling the truth about what they feel like and do they really hurt and are they worth it. Okay guys, to be clear guys, I technically have five tattoos, but I say four because two of them are kind of put together all right now i got the first three within like a two month span and i just got a new one all right now let me get this plan so my first one was this wolf right here so i want y'all to see the details of this right here all i asked for was the wolf face right there and um he added on the the de designs right there and the little scratches right here. And he also added that red color. Just look at the details right here. Now watch when I flex my arm, you see how it flares up as if the wolf is like, you know, just getting all aggressive on you. That's why I wanted the mouth open. And there, there's red in the inside right here. And actually the eyes I think were supposed to be red too, but I don't think it was a big detail that was missing. But also you can see the whiskers right here. The details, and yes, this is a crazy first one. Um, you guys may be like, oh my God, you went all in on your first one. Yes, I did go all in on my first one. I don't know what I was thinking. I was quite crazy at the time, but I got the wolf because I feel like a wolf really resonates with me. And it's kind of my spirit animal. As you see, there's a wolf right here. There's two wolves right there. And I got the wolf tattoo. It's my first ever tattoo with the red designs on it. Um... One through ten, especially for my first one, this pain was about a eight, eight and a half. And that's good because the reason being, you guys may think that it was a nine or ten. Because first of all, this is a big design, um, whether it's your first tattoo or not. But the thing is though, it because the design is so big, it took so long that my arm just went numb. Because when you're getting a tattoo, the fluid comes out. And this was I'm honestly not my most painful one, and I'm going to explain why later. But the the wolf right here was my first one. Um, the details and designs is insane. It looks like something out of it's just something out of a cartoon. Like this detailing is so crazy. All right. Now a month later after that, the second one I got was this forearm one right here. It says chosen one in cursive. I don't know if you guys can read that. But this right here is right below the wolf. It says chosen one right here. It says C-H-O-S-E-N. Then there's the number one right there. Now this combo was something serious when I first got it. I thought I was the thing. Like I was like, I'd be like, yeah, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Look, look. <laughs> you feel me? That's literally how it was. But this right here um, didn't hurt that bad. Um, it, it was pretty quick, so it didn't hurt that bad. You know, it, it was quick. Um, oh, the whoop took about two hours. This right here took about maybe just like 45 minutes. Okay. Um, right here, I, I didn't know what font I wanted it in, but I knew what I wanted. I just didn't know the font. Again, like I said on the first one, I just wanted the wolf. The attic designs was just a additional art piece to it. And so when I got this one, it was honestly just because I needed something else right here. I mean, I knew what I wanted. Um, All of my tattoos had meaning to, but I never thought that I would ever get one tattoo. And then when I got this one, I'm like, okay, now I have to get something else. I can't just leave this right there. For a while, I did, and it looked really good. Then I got it filled in with this right here, chose one right here. And a couple months after that, I got this piece right here. Now, this piece right here, I think, might be the best piece because it looks so full, man. If you guys just look at this right here. So, this right here is my mom's name, Kiwana, right there. And you guys see the detailing, the shading. And this right here is a rose, but it's purple. And it has the shading or some light coloring. Um, so the whole thing isn't filled in purple. It's, it's actually blended and shaded in there. And then there's these leaves. Look how detailed these leaves are right here. You even see the stems on them right there. Look how detailed these was right here. Now, this one is my most painful one. Why? Because it was the perfect mix of everything. It was big enough. 
but not like too big to where it was like my arm went numb, just like this right here. But and, and also the time limit wasn't that short and it wasn't that long because uh, this right here was like an hour. So therefore I felt everything because there were so many small details he had to do. And when there are small details in a tattoo, you're going to feel every single pinch of it. Okay. So this one was the most painful one. Oh, I forgot. This right here, pain on a scale of 1 through 10, probably like a 5. This right here, pain on a scale of 1 through 10, probably like a 9. Yeah, that one hurt for sure. This one right here hurt, but I think it's my favorite one. It definitely fills it in, you know, whenever I'm just, you know, I'm just wearing a short sleeve shirt. Definitely, this one covers everything. I love it. This right here is my favorite one. I think this is my best one. Um... A lot of people tell me this right here is my best one. I mean, this one right here hard, too. And the thing is, when I first got this one, I went crazy, man. I thought this was the best one, man. Because that cursive is just perfect, especially being blends in with the wolf as well, man. But this one right here, I got... So, the wolf and the chosen one tattoo I got within a two-month span. A couple months later, I went back and I got this one right here. Man, this one right here. And the thing is, this rose wasn't supposed to have color to it at first either so i always go there and i end up just adding more you know this right here was my third tattoo um and this one right here was my most painful one now the reason why i would add this rose as the fourth one because originally the picture i went there with was just the name font it was just the name and then i wanted a rose with it and then I said, you know what? Add some leaves to the back of the rolls. And then I said, you know what? Um, I want some shading to fill it in because I don't want it to be blank just like this one. Because, because the more I get tattoos, the more I realize what I need and the more creative I get, as with anything. So I said, you know what? Um, do some shading right there, you know? Make it look filled in. You guys see it looks very filled in. And then I said, you know what? A black rose, you're not even gonna really tell that it's a rose. Make it a color. What color should I do? I wanna do purple. So we did purple, like this violet, dark purple kind of color. And in the sun, it really shows. But instead of coloring the whole thing, he left some space up there for the um, blending and um, for the shading. So that was great. And then my last one that I just got was this chest slash shoulder one right here. Maybe still a little bit peeling right here, but. The story behind this tattoo is actually crazy. All right. So, um, Sunday was Mother's Day. And so, Saturday, I hit up my tap man and I said, man, I want to get my mom's birthday for Mother's Day tomorrow. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten days later, almost, <laughs> he finally responded. And by that time, I don't even know what I want anymore. And so what had happened was um, I knew I wanted the birthday, right? And what I was going to get originally was just the birthday, just right here. Not not all this right here, just right there. That's it. Small, very small. That's what I was going to get, very small. But then I got there and I was like, okay, this is what I want, right? But I don't want the shoulder to be left because I feel like if I'm going to get something across my chest and it should kind of connect with my top shoulder part but I don't know what designs I want if you can just think of something because I don't know I just want something right there and he was like, okay I know what you mean so if you guys look closely this right here is the heartbeat things you know where the um it's the lifeline things you know where you're in the hospital and the lifeline is going up and down, up and down you know what I'm saying that's what that is and then it's my mom's birthday um, numbers right here and it comes all the way to the heart right so that's what I end up getting so before I was just looking at a small thing on my chest but then I was like you know what I don't know what I want you guys can see that um even the lifeline things comes all the way up here almost to the center of my chest starting from right here and then he was like um okay so I'm gonna put a heart lifeline I'm like yeah that's cool bro he was like um do you want me to add the add red color to the heart I was like yeah, actually, because there's red up here in my wolf. That blends in great. And um, I'm going to add some pictures and videos of when I first got them and also some clips, you know, 
of the tattoos and me showing them all at one time. Yes, it's still peeling, so you know it's not fully healed yet. But this is what I end up getting, and I loved it. This is just so good. Um, says on my mom's birthday, the lifeline, and then the red heart right here. Now this one took about thirty minutes, and the pain one through ten was probably like a four. Four. It wasn't that bad. Um, up here a little bit in the sharp, and like I said. When it's little tiny designs, you're gonna feel everything because it's real sharp and it's real precise about what he's doing. He's just, ah, okay, move now. So, but when it's something big, it's just like, and then you just fill it in. But when it's something small, you have to be like, and you feel every single one, all right? But these are all of my tattoos right here. Um, I'm definitely gonna get more, I'm gonna finish the um, arm right here and I'm also gonna get another chest one. I'm gonna go all in man but these right here are what I have so far I'm gonna add some pictures up there so you guys can see these are right here um my favorite one I think my favorite one I like all of them in a way my favorite one is probably this wolf though it just stands out so much it definitely adds to everything and then my newest favorite one is probably this right here because I just love how it's like at the top part of my chest like even when I have on a gym shirt with the sleeves off you still see it and it's just it's just good man I love all of my tattoos so that's the truth about tattoos man I explained um you guys can kind of get a picture of how long they'll take yes Every artist is different. They have different things they do in different ways they do tattoos, but the average is pretty similar for a lot of people, all right? That's what I found out, okay? So these are my tattoos. The detailing is very on point, very precise, all right? So I'm gonna add some pictures and videos, man. Comment down below what you guys think about the video and comment down below how many tattoos you have. And if you don't have any yet, how many do you want? And what are you thinking about getting? All right. So if you're new, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment and like down below. If you're an original subscriber, stay tuned. And thanks for coming back to show more love. All right, y'all. So peace out. Stay safe. I'm going to update y'all on some more tattoos very soon. I love y'all. Peace out.